So we're going to take a look here at some practice with order of operations. What I'm going to ask you to do is to pause the video here and copy down these three problems. And uh, once you've copied them down, work through each one, come up with an answer uh, for each of these problems, one, two, and three, and then um, unpause the or resume the video and I will go through uh, an explanation of the correct solutions to all three of them. So now if we take a look at the solution to the first problem, we see here that we have orders of operations say that we need to do our two multiplications first and then we'll have to do our addition and subtractions after. Again, I'm going to just do one step per line uh, so that uh, it's not confusing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of rewrite the shell of everything that I'm not doing in my first line and my first step is to perform this multiplication of 7 times 3. 7 times 3 is 21. And now notice that I have a multiplication here that I have to deal with. So again, I'm going to do that first in the, my next line, and that gives me 4 plus 21, and plus, and 3 times 2 is 6. And so now I've got only additions left, and the addition subtraction, remember, go together. So I have 4 plus 21, which is 25 plus 6, and 25 plus 6 is 31. So 31 is the correct answer to the first problem. If we take a look at the solution to the second problem, we have 12 divided by 3 minus 4 plus 2 times 8. Again, we need to do our division and multiplication first, and so here I get 12 divided by 3 is 4, and again, I only do one step per line here, and so now I'm left in my second line with this multiplication I have to deal with of 2 times 8. So I'm going to rewrite my first parts that I'm not operating on, and now 2 times 8 is 16. And now I have only addition subtraction left, and Again, it doesn't really matter the order that you do the addition subtraction. Remember, that's inside that one, that one sort of bubble. Um, but I, I usually do them from left to right. And so here, 4, take away 4 is 0, and then 0 plus 16. 0 plus 16 is, of course, 16. So 16 is the correct answer to the second problem. And now if we take a look at the third problem, 9 plus 5 times 2 minus 3 times 8 divided by 6. So even a little bit more complicated here. And if I look, I have to do the multiplication. Again, going from left to right, I have to do my multiplication and division first. And so I get, and I'm just going to leave a hole there and rewrite. And now... 5 times 2 is 10. And now again, I look from left to right, and I'm going to have to do the 3 times 8 next. So 9 plus 10 minus, I leave a hole where I'm going to do my calculation of 3 times 8, and then I put my divided by 6 at the end. 3 times 8 is 24. And now I still have one more division to do here. And so now I have 9 plus 10 minus and 24 divided by 6 is 4. And so now I just have addition subtractions left. And 9 plus 10 is 19. And my minus 4. 19 minus 4 is 15. And again, 
a number line representation just as a reminder. If I have 19 and I'm subtracting 4, it means I'm moving 4 units and the negative sign tells me that I'm moving left. And so if I move 4 units left here, then that puts me at 15. So 15 is the correct answer to this third problem.